So today we're going to be talking about beef heart. Is it the superfood that we've always thought for our discus or do we need to take another look at it and uh, take a look at some of the new studies out as to whether or not this is a food in large quantities that is actually good for our fish. When we come back, we're going to talk about beef heart. Hang in there with me and we'll be right back. Hey everyone, George here and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about beef heart. Now this is something that uh, I do want to make a disclaimer right up front that I have been reading a couple of studies on uh, the effects of beef heart being fed to your discus or other fish. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about this because there's a little controversy here. And I'm not saying don't feed your fish beef heart at all. What I am saying is that the studies that I have been looking at give a varied opinion about whether or not beef heart is actually good for your discus or not. So let's start out with uh, my personal beliefs, and that is number one, that you should always have a good variety of foods that you're feeding your fish for several different reasons. Number one, nutrition. Uh, lots of different kinds of foods that have uh, uh, shrimp and uh, other kinds of algae and things like that that are going to give your fish a well-rounded diet are things that I believe you should be feeding your fish and uh, there are plenty of foods out there. We see uh, flake foods, uh, for example, that are laced with garlic we see lots of different kinds of foods that uh, I would actually pause on this one a little bit that enhance the color of your fish. And uh, I don't believe that those are good for your fish. I think more natural foods are. But let's get back to the uh, subject at hand here, and that is whether or not beef heart as a staple in a discus diet is something that is good for them. Now, what I want to say is this. I want to have a disclaimer that I'm not saying, as I said uh, earlier in the video, uh, that you should not feed your discus beef heart at all. But my opinion is, after reading these studies, there's a couple of studies that came out of Indonesia and India, both of which have some of the best and most beautiful discus in the world, that suggest that beef heart in large quantities with your discus fish creates an environment where the liver is enlarged and the liver is very fatty, thus reducing the uh, lifespan of your discus over a long period of time. Now, there's something to this. Number one, you wouldn't find beef heart in the wild. And uh, it is obviously a protein that uh, we give discus to get them nice and chunky and fat and looking healthy. But are we doing them a favor by giving them a lot of beef heart, a steady staple of beef heart every single day of the week that uh, is creating an environment where they're becoming overweight and liver is enlarged and uh, turning yellow in color and also a lot of fat around that liver area. This can't be good. Beef heart is not something, like I said, that is found in nature. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a good supplement for uh, those of you who are wanting to uh, sort of beef up your fish, no pun intended here, uh, but it is something that maybe you want to consider feeding more in moderation and trying to introduce more foods into the diet of your discus. Now, I believe that you should be doing this anyway simply because of two reasons. In the world that we're living in today, it's harder and harder to get certain things, and I don't see that getting any better. If you're narrowing your food uh, uh, varieties to your discus down to beef heart and a couple of other things, and all of a sudden 
the price of these things goes way up or some of the things that uh, are used as ingredients to make your beef heart recipe become expensive and so forth it would be nice to have your fish able to eat other foods and not snub their nose at it and uh, this is a problem with discus fish they get on a particular diet and they're not willing to try things and uh, if you start them out uh, with just beef heart and, a, and, and maybe a flake of some kind, you're really not doing them any favors. Now, I'm not trying to ruffle anybody's feathers out there about the use of beef heart long term with your discus, but what I am suggesting to you is that you sort of take a look at this yourself and I will uh, tell you where you can find these studies on beef heart and your discus and I will put them in the description area. This will give you an opportunity to sort of take a look at this yourself and uh, find out whether or not this is something that you think is a concern for you. These are expensive fish and they can live up to 15 years in the right environment. 12 to 15 years is not that uncommon in a well uh, cared for aquarium that's very healthy. Uh, so you might want to consider this a little bit uh, when, you're, when you're talking about diet here. Now, one of the things that I would tell you is that uh, I do have certain beef heart products. And if you look at a lot of the foods that are out there for your discus, you're going to find that beef heart is part of the ingredients on that. Now, I'm not having a problem with those foods. The problem I'm having is if you're taking and grinding up beef heart and making your own recipe out of it and feeding this as a regular staple in their daily diet, are you creating an environment where you're lessening the lifespan of your fish and are you creating that scenario, as I said, where the liver becomes enlarged, it turns yellow in color and gets a lot of fat around it, which is not healthy for your fish. Now, uh, again, uh, I know people out there that are in this business that, uh, uh, that sell discus on a large scale and beef heart is their go-to recipe. I'm not trying to tell you that uh, these people are wrong. What I am trying to tell you is that when you get these fish home uh, from the purchase of that supplier, whoever that might be, there's a, you know, a ton of different suppliers of discus fish around, try to work them into a diet that is much more varied. In other words, there's a lot of uh, different types of food that you're feeding them because I think in the long term, you're going to be much happier and so are your fish as to uh, the health of the fish. Now, one of the things that I have noticed, uh, I did a little experiment on my own. I did a tank of discus uh, for a year, basically on nothing but uh, foods that are heavy in beef heart and uh, a few other kinds of foods. And then another tank where uh, they got the occasional beef heart and a wide variety of foods. And what I found is, is that the a uh, tank where you were feeding a lot of beef heart, the fish were fat. They were, in my opinion, you know, uh, people may like that look and think that their, their discus are healthy, but to me, they didn't look uh, trim and fit and that kind of thing. And they, uh, I know that as in human beings or any other species of, of uh, animals out there, uh, that if uh, they are overweight, it is not good for them. We see this in our, our pets at home, such as our cats, our dogs, and now our tropical fish. So it is a very important thing that we have an understanding of what we're feeding our fish on a daily basis to make sure that we're doing them a favor by feeding them a wide variety of foods that are actually going to enhance uh, the quality of their health long term. Now I know I'm going to get some blowback on this from people and I, I want to just say I'm not saying as I said earlier in the video I am not saying do not feed 
uh, your fish any beef heart whatsoever. What I am saying is reduce the diet of beef heart and try to put a uh, larger variety of foods that are, there's a ton of them available out there that are really good quality foods. And I'm not going to push any particular one because I don't want to try to endorse somebody and make it look like I'm making this video because I'm trying to endorse a particular uh, company that makes a particular food or whatever. All I'm saying is, is that if you are feeding your discus a large amount of beef heart, you may want to consider cutting back on that and trying to get your fish to eat another uh, type of food or a variety of foods and many of them are going to have small amounts of beef heart in it and I don't have any problem with that but what I'm saying is, is if you're relying on big chunks of beef heart and throwing them in the tank number one they're messy as heck and number two are they really as good for your fish as we're led to believe now I can understand uh, these facilities that uh, breed discus on a large scale and uh, their need to have a uh, food source that is easy for them to get their hands on and to make and that the fish are crazy over uh, that's something that I understand but when you get those fish home maybe by the time you buy them, it's time for you to start introducing a variety of foods. Now, the best way to do that is to give them some beef heart, but slowly back them off on it and give them, like I said, other foods that are high in protein, high in uh, uh, amino acids, and uh, also vitamins of all different kinds. Uh, these are all things that are just going to help your fish live longer, look more colorful and more like what they should look like and not look overweight. Uh, again, uh, I know that there's a lot of you out there that are going to question what I'm saying here, but I will put those studies down in the description area and uh, give you an opportunity to take a look at them and make your own mind up as to whether or not I am talking about something that has some truth to it and maybe will help you to extend the life of your fish over time and also the uh, not just the life of your fish but the quality of the life of your fish. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Please give me a like on this one. Also subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already. I would appreciate that and leave your comments down below. I know I'm going to get some comments on this. I will, like I said, show you these uh, studies that talk about beef heart and whether or not it's good. A couple of them, I actually misspoke earlier. One of them was in Indonesia and the other was German. So it was very important for me to talk about this because I thought it would be very helpful. Sorry about the phone there. But uh, I think it would be very helpful for us to have an understanding as to whether or not uh, we're uh, really doing the best thing for our fish uh, in the long term here, or are we doing something that is really uh, shortening the lifespan of the fish uh, just to make them look a little bit, uh, again, no pun intended, beefier and that sort of thing. I want fish that look healthy as well and uh, don't look like they're starving and that sort of thing. But at the same time, I also want my fish to be healthy. So thank you for joining me today. As I said, leave your comments down below and share this video with your friends. Thank you for joining me. That's it for today. Until next time, we'll see you on the next one. We're out of here. Thank <laughs> you.